Okay, in this video I'm just going to talk about uh, some of the derivatives of the hyperbolic functions. So again, remember these are the definitions of the hyperbolic functions. It turns out that the derivative formulas are as follows. It says the derivative of hyperbolic sine is hyperbolic cosine. The derivative of hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic sine. The derivative of hyperbolic tangent is hyperbolic secant squared. Um, and so on for the others. Notice um, if you take the derivative of uh, hyperbolic sine, cosine, or tangent, you all get a. You, the answers are all positive. If you take a derivative of hyperbolic cosecant, secant, or cotangent, um, all of those have negatives associated with them. So, other than that, notice that the formulas are really exactly the same as the original trig functions. Right, the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. Well, here you have to remember just insert the h's for the hyperbolic part, but you also have to remember this negative sign. So, again, just trying to point out a couple formulas for you. These are easy to justify. Um, the proof of any of these uh, derivatives just comes straight from the definition. So, suppose we wanted to justify this formula. Well, we know that hyperbolic sine, that's just e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Um, the basic formula you have to remember in all of these, remember if you have the derivative of e to some function, the derivative of that is e to that function, but then you have to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the exponent. So this is the basic property I'm going to use when I take the derivative of my um, exponential functions. So you could simply break this up. I mean, you can do it all at once, but you could just break it up. e to the x over 2 minus e to the negative x over 2. If you take the derivative of each piece, well, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x the constant gets carried along. The derivative of e to the negative x, well, that's going to be e to the negative x, but we have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which is a negative 1 um, over 2. Again, simply pull the negative out front, and now we have positive um, e to the negative x. So if we stick it back together, hey, we have e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2 which is, in fact, just hyperbolic cosine of x. Okay, so that's how you would justify any of these. Um, other than that, it's just using the product rule, the chain rule, the quotient rule, um, all the normal rules when you take derivatives. So um, maybe let's do a couple, a couple here. So find the derivative. And again, I'm not going to do any of these from the definition. I'm just going to use my shortcuts, basically. So suppose our function, so uh, kind of an easy one. Suppose our function is hyperbolic tangent of just 4x. Well, all we have to do here, again, is just use the chain rule. So remember, it says the derivative of hyperbolic tangent, that's hyperbolic secant squared, Okay, we leave the inside stuff alone, but then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside using the chain rule. So the derivative of 4x will just be 4, or we simply could pull the 4 out front, and ta-da, we would have our derivative. Okay, so no big deal there. Um, let me maybe find one a little, a little bit harder here. Um, Suppose our function is the natural logarithm of hyperbolic sine x. Okay, well, remember the derivative for natural logarithm. It says you get 1 over whatever's inside the logarithm. And then we have to multiply that again using the chain rule. We have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of hyperbolic sine is simply hyperbolic cosine. Well, that gives us hyperbolic cosine over hyperbolic sine. Hyperbolic cosine over hyperbolic sine is the same thing as hyperbolic cotangent. I wonder how many times I'm going to say hyperbolic in this video. Um, too many times. Um, maybe let's do one more. 
Let's see if we can't can't find one. None of the examples I'm looking at, to be honest, are, are too terribly miserable. Um, I don't know. Let's just uh, let's do one more here, just for just for fun, because we're having so much fun. Suppose it's hyperbolic sine x times hyperbolic tangent of x. Um, whoops, I wrote f of t, so how about f of x? So when I take the derivative of this, now I'm just going to have to use the product rule. So the derivative of hyperbolic sine, we saw that that was hyperbolic cosine. Um, leave the hyperbolic tangent alone. Put our plus in between, leave the hyperbolic sine alone. Um, we know the derivative of tangent is hyperbolic secant squared. Um, I think we can probably simplify this down a little bit. Um, we've got hyperbolic cosine over 1. Remember hyperbolic tangent, that's just the sine over the cosine the hyperbolic versions, that is. Um, hyperbolic sine over 1. Um, hyperbolic secant, that's 1 over cosine. I don't think, you know, I would really probably do too much with this part. It doesn't really matter. Um, here, the, the notice the uh, cosines will, will factor out. And actually, I think I'm going to leave this alone. So notice we have hyperbolic sine. So maybe I should have left it alone at the beginning. So we have hyperbolic sine times hyperbolic secant squared. So notice I'm going to be left with hyperbolic sine and we could go ahead and factor um, factor this hyperbolic sine out. We would have 1 plus hyperbolic secant squared and this is where you have to think about your trig identities. Um, have to think, is there an identity for 1 plus hyperbolic secant squared? Um, it turns out that the answer is not really, so um, I mean you can always replace stuff with stuff for sure, but nothing that I think is going to condense it down, So, or at least not that I see off the top of my head, so I would just leave it there. So again, nothing real, nothing real crazy, as long as you're comfortable using the product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule, it's just memorizing, you know, a few new derivative formulas. So, alright, I hope this makes some sense. I'm going to do some anti-derivatives as well, so feel free to, to take a look for those.